Welcome to the Chicory's maintenance video series. This week we're working on the Meritron system. I have a Hall effect sensor. Um, let me explain a little bit what's going on here. I have uh, three batteries and four banks, and each of those have a Class T fuse that come up from the batteries. They feed into a bus, and then I have a single four aught cable that goes up to another bus that feeds both of the inverters, it feeds the um, breaker upstairs, and it also um, has a feed that comes in from the alternator from the engine. So this allows me to see all of the energy that's flowing in and out of the batteries. However, this Hall effect sensor and the Mertron box that um, interprets the information from this Hall effect sensor is not calibrated correctly. I have a uh, shunt that I can measure that data with as well, and they don't agree. And I put a clamp uh, meter on here to see if it agreed with this Hall effect sensor, and it did not. So my job today is to remove this Hall effect sensor, remove the sensor uh, box from Meritron, send them in so that they can analyze and calibrate them. So. The process starts with me removing this plastic shield that holds um, an insulator in place, you know, just to make sure that if a tool were to drop, it wouldn't cross any current. And that exposes um, the studs on the bus bar. The next thing I need to do is dump the power so I'm going to go flip the breakers off that are supplying the AC current to these two inverter chargers. I'll be back in one second. So they're no longer receiving um, any AC power. Now I'm going to take the DC power away from them and they shut off. And now I'm going to shut off the DC power to the um, pilot house uh, circuit breakers. That's gonna kill the lights. I do have a little uh, flashlight here, so hopefully we'll have enough light. But we're gonna shut that off. And then we're now safe because um, though the batteries are hooked up, there's no power being drawn from this bus bar. So I should be limited in the number amount of sparks that could possibly happen. I'm gonna use a socket and a ratchet and I'm gonna put my hand around the end so to make sure that I don't have any issues with knocking into any of the metal boxes because I certainly don't want to ground anything. I'm gonna take this nut off the bus bar. And then I'm going to take my screw gun. I should be able to use a screwdriver. I'm just gonna back out the screws that hold the Hall effect sensor in place. are loose hopefully they're not going to fall somewhere I'm going to reach up I'm going to grab the cable that is for the alternator charging I'm going to take this cable off which runs to the batteries and I'm going to slide the Hall effect sensor off set that aside I'm going to put the battery cable back on the alternator back on and put the nut back on and do the opposite with the socket and the ratchet. And this Hall effect sensor has a little plug on it. I'm just gonna remove that. So now I have the Hall effect sensor and I'm gonna leave this wire in place because I'm just going to unscrew and leave every wiring in place, just sending in the box. I'm gonna reposition the camera a second and I'll be back. So I'm back and I've repositioned the camera so that you can see this Meritron box a little bit better. Um, these are all the connections that come in from the various sensors, whether that's the Hall effect or uh, battery voltage. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, remove this uh, NMEA 2000 plug. 
And the reason uh, that's important is although I've shut the power off, um, I don't want to have anything that I do here possibly affect the NMEA 2000 network. So I'm just going to unscrew this. And unplug it. And this particular cable end is one that um, you wire yourself to the cable. So you can buy a bolt cable and you put the ends on so you can make the cables the length you want. I'm just going to move that out of the way for a second behind this ground. And now I'm going to go through and remove all of these um, wires, remove the four screws that hold the box on, and I'll be back in a minute. One quick note, these voltage sensing wires um, actually go directly to the bus bar that we are just working on so that this unit can sense the voltage of the batteries. And obviously as I disassembled this, I took one wire out of it, off of it at a time and put um, some insulating electrical tape on each connection so that I wouldn't be shorting anything. Until I reinstall this, all these will stay there uh, just waiting. Now it's time just to remove those four screws. And I'll be back. So I have the uh, Maritron direct current monitor um, that was hanging on the wall off. And I have the Hall effect sensor um, that feeds into this to show it um, how much DC amperage there is. So now that I have these two units off, I'm going to send them back to Maritron to have them either calibrate this unit or find out what the fault is. And so that pretty much ends this video. Uh, once again, I appreciate you subscribing, commenting, and liking, and I'll see you next week.